In this video, we will finish with the agenda.cfm page by taking care of the sidebar. Now remember, the sidebar of that page contains the next event, the next concert of the band. Well, this will be easy. Remember that by default, when I don't use that query attribute of the CF output tag, the CF output only outputs the first record of the query. Well, the first record of that RS current events query will always be the next event. So I can use the same query here that I used for the table to output also the sidebar. So let's scroll down to the sidebar code here and I will, just after the sidebar opens, I will use a CF if tag of confusion to check if the current events dot record count is equal to zero, which means if there is a next event to display. And of course, I will close my CF if block just before the sidebar closes, which is here the end div that I have here. Let's clean up that code a little bit so you can better see with the proper indents who is in who. There we go. Now, of course, I will also add a CF else tag right here. And above the CF else, I will write a small message that will be displayed if there is no record to display, if there is no next event. So, sorry, there is no, there are no events to display at this time, like that. Now, of course, if there is a next event to display, then after the CF else, I will need a CF output tag that I will open here and close just before the CF if closes. So let's indent this and remove the extra space here at the top. All right, now, in this case, right here, to output here the, the month of the next event, I will need some dynamic data. So let's already put those double hash signs. And I will need to output here the event date time. So let's take inside of the query dot FLD date time, like that. Now, if I save and run that page, you will see that Confusion will output the entire date time of the event. Now, I don't need the entire date time of the event. I only need the month 03, which is here the month of March. You can see that here in the first row of the table. So let's return to Confusion. And what I can do here is use the month function of Confusion. And this is a function of Confusion that will take only the month part of a date. And of course, I have to supply here the date from which I want to take the month. So if I save and run that page, you see that it only takes the month part of the date, three for March. But here I don't want to see three. I want to see M-A-R. I want to see the, the word, the letter for March and not the number. So instead of using the month function, I will go back to the date format function. And here the date format function takes one argument, which is the date that I want to format. And the second argument is the mask. And here the mask will be three M's because I only want the month in abbreviation like that, M-A-R for March. Now, a little trick here with the date format function, you can also use the LS date format function. LS stands for local system. And in that case, it will output the month, but in the language of the system. So if someone comes in French, it will output the name of the month in French or in Italian or in Spanish. So let's remove that because I want that in English like the rest of it and of course now I can do the same for the day so I will copy paste here that expression but instead of taking the month as the mask I will take only the day 
here like that. So if I run the page now, you see that I have March and 16, which corresponds here to the date that I have for the next event. So now let's continue with here the name of the event. So I need to output some data in double hash sign. So it's going to be RS current event. Let's get some help from Cold Fusion Builder with control space to have those little help here. Our RS current events dot event name. And here as the first paragraph, I want to output the RS current events dot event venue and for the location I will place it after the name of the event. So RS current events dot event location like that. So when I save now the page and run the page, you see that I have properly uh, output it here the next event in the sidebar of that page.